Whew. All right, squad. All right, gang. I am. I didn't get to fold all of the clothes. I just folded some because I got really hot and it's extremely late. It's 11:48 now, so I am headed home. I guess I will fold the rest later. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in a later video. Finally, gang, I done made it back to the casa. Um, I'm gonna get some of these bags. And then, guys, I wanna give you like a little quick story time or something. Whatever you guys desire. Okay, and guys, I am going to. Yeah, guys, I have made it back. Um, like I said, I folded some, but not all. So, guys, I'm just gonna just basically um just finish what I started. But right now, guys, I'm gonna get situated. I'm hot. I'm tired. It is 11:56. I've been left the house, and I'm just getting back. So I'm gonna relax, guys. And I'm gonna come back and get you with a quick story time. So. And I might have a special guest. Might, might not. Dependent. So, guys. catching my first charge now guys um i think my camera is gonna die so um uh, i'm gonna be quick and easy i'm just gonna tell as much story as it takes to fold these clothes but let's get into it so my very first time getting in trouble or catching a charge was um um what was it misdemeanor larson i mean not misdemeanor larson i'm sorry um shoplifting yeah, so I'm pretty sure that was every teenage girl's first charge was, um, what was it? Mr. Mr. Larceny. Yeah, Mr. Mina Larceny. And that was my very first shopping from charge. And I'm going to give you like a small rundown of what happened. So anyway, I was in Walmart with some friends and we all went to Walmart with one intent. One, you know. And we all went there to go and loot. So, yeah. So, we went to Walmart and we went to go loot. We had a whole bunch of stuff. We had, like, socks, underwears. We had um, cosmetics. We had um, jewelry. We had socks. Did I say socks? Oh, anyway. But yeah, we had a lot of stuff. I think we even went and that's when DVD players was um, popular. We got some DVD movies. I think one of my friends had kids. So one of my friends was getting DVD movies and um, just a lot of stuff. You know, whatever they had in Walmart and we just knew what we was going there for. Whatever they had in Walmart, that's what we had. That's what we said we was going to get. So we just in there shopping, just getting all our stuff, you know, racking up because we thought in our head we was professionals because we was just so used to doing it. <laughs> so we thought in our heads that we were some type of professionals. So we in there racking up, doing everything we gotta do to, you know, to remain undercover. doing what we had to do to remain up in the cover so nobody wouldn't see us so we in there racking up racking up but obviously 
I guess someone seen us because we are flat. So, guys, I also got into a fight at Walmart one time too. But anyway, that's a different story time. So we um in there racking up. You know what? Matter of fact, the one of the girls that we was we was with, she lit a cigarette up in Walmart right in the shoe section. She lit the cigarette up, and that will cause um, some attention to us. So she lit the cigarette up, guys, and security came over there like within minutes. And they like, you just can't smoke cigarettes in here, blase, blase, blase. So they end up telling her that she either got to get out the store, put her cigarette out, or get out the store. So she chose to put her cigarette out. So she put her cigarette out, and we proceeded to go shopping and get what we need to get. By this time, our basket is like, I'm talking about like full, full, and it's getting full. Now, once I, we see that our basket is full, we go ahead and um, start to stuff our purse. Now, hold on, guys. I'm going to tell you what we had. Okay, guys. We had purses. We had um, a baby bag. We had, like, some babies with us. So, we thought, oh, it's going to look even better because we had babies with us. You know? And... Wrong way of thinking. That did not stop nothing. But anyway, guys, so we was just stuffing the bag, stuffing the bag, stuffing the bag. So we stuffing the bag, stuffing the bag, stuffing the bags. Boom. We stop what we do and we go to a new location. Once we get to the new location, we start stuffing our bags again. Stuffing our bags. We stuffing our bags. So... We in here stuffing, we stuffing, we stuffing, we almost finished, we almost finished. Boom. We all looks up. There goes security walking by. So we didn't care. Like I said, we was invincible, we was bold, we just knew we was the number one shop in the world. Alright, but um So we stuffing the bag, stuffing the bag, stuffing the bag. We see the security officers walk fast. And we stop what we doing. Once they're out of sight, we go continue to um, stuff our bag. So once we notice the security officers were on us, we move to a different location. All right. Now I said, well, look, I ain't gonna keep on moving. Let's just stop. Let's just get this shit and let's just get it over with. So boom, we put the last final pieces in the bag. We look around, we ain't see nobody, so we said, all right, y'all, come on, let's head for the door. So, we head for that door, y'all. We mix through the door. A little bit past y'all, I know like them little yellow poles that's in Walmart, um, I like right there the front, the little poles that stand up, the you know, yellow ones. We make it right there to them yellow poles, and ma'am, can you come with us? Damn. Y'all know what that means, right? Ma'am, can you come with us? Those are the words that I hated to hear. And from this day on, I cannot I cannot unhear that. I cannot unhear, ma'am, can you come with us? And I don't think anybody will be able to at the, you know? So boom, we goes with the, um, with the security. We already know what time it is. We already know we was in the instant. We already know they came for us. You feel me? So we go with security or whatever. All right. I'm really not going to fold this blanket because I'm going to make the bed up. But yeah, anyway, 
Security came for us, y'all, so we had to go because they sent for us. So we're sitting in the security office. Thank God none of us went to jail that night. We just um, all got like a um, citation, a ticket, a court date. Yeah, we all got a court date or whatever. So, and that was my first time catching a shot, Mr. George. You know? So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me full clothes. Your girl is hot. See, I'm always getting hot. I'm gonna get hot and say, girl, I'm always hot, yeah. I am always hot because I am always up around, moving around, and I'm always doing something. Guys, so guys, I'm gonna eat this food, relax, sit back, and um, and I just wash the sheets. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little quick, little small story time. Anyway, guys, I love you. If you're not subscribed, if you're watching and you're not subscribed, you need to go ahead and subscribe now because I be dropping bangers. I be lit. Funny, if you ever having a bad day and you need to laugh, come right here to Funny Woman Act and I got something that's guaranteed to make you laugh. All right, y'all, without further ado, your girl. Your girl is...